take victory and for the first time in Formula One, Carlos Sainz. 450 racing hours, 18 days of sitting behind the wheel, and finally Carlos Sainz gets his first Formula One win, with Sainz cruising to victory in the end. The most exciting race of the season saw Hamilton briefly take the lead as his home GP to eventually be outdone by Sainz, who proved too powerful in the end. This started with a terrifying first lap collision that culminated in fierce wheel-to-wheel -wheel fights for the podium spots. Let's look at how Sainz achieved his maiden victory, his chances of winning the title, and the drama at the end of the race between Ferrari's team principal and Charles Leclerc. Carlos easily won the British Grand Prix, marking his first victory in 150 Formula 1 races. To complete the podium, Red Bull's Sergio Perez crossed the finish line second, followed by Mercedes Lewis Hamilton. A win for Ferrari in a fantastic location like Silverstone is certainly the nicest feeling a racing driver can experience, said Sainz. Managing the spaces, several battles on the track, and the second start made it one of the most mentally difficult races I've ever run. We had some understeer issues and on the second stint, I was instructed to conserve fuel if I wanted to finish, so the lift and coast placed me in danger from the vehicles behind. He continued saying, I had fresher tires at the restart, but we were vying for 1-2 as a team, so I made an effort to pass Charles as smoothly as possible. I was therefore able to push to the very finish and eventually secured my maiden victory thanks to the gasoline conserved behind the safety car. Max Verstappen, now leading the championship, struggled throughout the race after ruining his car's bodywork by driving over a piece of carbon fiber. The Dutchman finished ahead of Mick Schumacher after a lengthy battle where neither one wanted to give an inch, scoring his maiden F1 point in the seventh position. The race was not without one of the biggest collisions in the modern-day era, as Joe Guan Yu, an Alfa Romeo driver, was carried off the track earlier in the race following his car overturning. He was actually, Martin, upside down as you can see, in the roll hoop and the and the much maligned halo saving his life. Guan Yu, Pierre Gasly of Alpha Tauri, and George Russell were all in a three-car collision. Russell and Guan Yu clashed after Gasly made contact with Russell. Zhou Guan Yu was taken out of the automobile after a lengthy stop to the race and carried off the course on a stretcher. The 2021 season was fantastic for Carlos Sainz. He finished every race of the season without retiring and took home four podium finishes. Last season, he finished with an average of 6.5 and scored points in 20 of the 22 events. The World Drivers' Championship victory against his colleague Charles Leclerc was a bonus. Sainz imitated his childhood hero Fernando Alonso by moving to Ferrari in 2021 after a successful two-year tenure at McLaren, fulfilling his dream by taking Sebastian Vettel's place, the outgoing four-time world champion. It was only fair that he be viewed as a potential candidate for the Drivers' Championship in 2022 after making the most of his transfer in 2021. Carlos Sainz has been outspoken about his desire to compete for Ferrari and eventually win a title, but are these just words or can he take the championship? He has consistently been behind his teammate Charles Leclerc on qualifying days thus far this year. It seems nearly impossible for anyone to match Leclerc's qualifying speed. In the previous seven races, he has won the pole five times, and on the occasions that he hasn't, he has never qualified worse than P2. On the other side, Sainz was yet to claim a single pole position this season. It must be acknowledged, though, that there were a few moments when he was not far away. No one can deny that Carlos was overshadowed by his colleague, even though one may blame unfavorable luck and poor tactical decisions made by Ferrari, as well as the 27-year-old not helping himself by committing errors that have hurt his and the team's effectiveness. A victory, particularly at his home race, the Spanish GP, may have maintained his title chances and given him a claim to the championship, but that ended when he had a terrible start and spun out into the gravel after a few laps. Carlos Sainz's claim to the championship was uncontested at the beginning of the season. His chances were calculated to be the same as those of his teammate, but the Spaniard found the 2022 F1 to be cruel. In some races, he had difficulty, while in others, he could not match his teammate's performance. Predicting what could have changed with such a long season ahead was difficult. By not spending cash on improvements so early in the season, Ferrari intended to outmaneuver Red Bull by adhering to its pre-season development plans. There were rumors that after just seven races this season, the Austrian team had already spent most of its development money. However, Carlos is presently fourth in the overall standings after winning his first F1 race in the British Grand Prix, earning 25 points in the process. 
with both Red Bull drivers Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez with totals of 181 and 147 points respectively. The only thing standing between Carlos Sainz and the title is his teammate Charles Leclerc with 138 points and the Red Bull drivers. Sainz is currently 60 points behind Max Verstappen in the drivers' championship, leading many to believe could he possibly win the whole thing. With Red Bull's struggles in the current race and Leclerc falling off the pace, could Sainz be in pole position to capitalize? Reports speculate that he would need at least five podium finishes to have a claim at the Constructors' Championships. Carlos Sainz asserts, Hopefully next week. It's incredibly unique, but it's even more unique to do it at Silverstone and in front of the audience we had today. I overheard them applauding me, and truly I think the entire paddock is delighted and proud of me. This is a unique sense that I'm unable to describe, and for that, I appreciate everyone. This is from Fernando Alonso. How many races it will pass until Sainz wins his second? We'll have to wait, as it took him 150 races to achieve his first victory. After the British Grand Prix, Charles Leclerc claims Mattia Bonotto's body language during his one-on-one -on -one with the Ferrari CEO was an attempt to make him feel better. On the F1 Global stream, Bonotto was seen giving his driver a post-race discussion in the Parc Fermé while pointing the finger at Leclerc, which appeared to be accusatory, which intrigued the announcers. But the Monegasque afterwards said that his boss had only been attempting to cheer him up since he'd been demoralized by what had happened at Silverstone on Sunday. He wanted to cheer me up, Leclerc told Sky Sports F1, explaining the scene. We will have to look at the global picture. On my side, I only have my picture for my race, and in the car, sometimes you don't have the full picture. From my side, I felt like I lost a bit too much time in the first stint, and especially in the first part of the second stint. But this is my view, and I might change once I see the full picture. Leclerc seemed to be headed for his third victory of the season, with title leader Max Verstappen out of the picture, but a late safety car altered the running order. Ferrari decided against making a potentially hazardous double-stack pit stop like the one that cost them the Monaco Grand Prix earlier this year by leaving Leclerc in the lead of the field and calling in signs for a new set of soft tyres during the race's neutralisation. However, the plan made Leclerc a sitting duck on the restart as he was swiftly overtaken by Sainz Hamilton and Red Bull's Sergio Perez, even though he could keep up with them all. The Scuderia driver was upset to have dropped from first to fourth after Ferrari's tactical decision and the external factors conspired against it. Leclerc didn't want to spoil Sainz's party, though. I don't want the focus to be pointed towards my disappointing race, but more towards his incredible race win, said Leclerc. The first win in Formula 1 is always extremely special. It's great for the team, and it's great for Carlos. Ferrari's chances of claiming the world title seems closer than anyone anticipated. Max Verstappen will have much to deal with and measure up to in the forthcoming Austrian Grand Prix. Right now, all eyes are on Carlos Sainz and his teammate Charles Leclerc as they aim for the number one position. Do you think Carlos is a title contender? Comment below. Carlos Sainz on top of the world.